Good morning, folks. Electric current sheeted the solar system draped over Earth yesterday, causing these satellite jostles. We've got a lot to cover today, but we're starting with the blank star at spaceweathernews.com. The sun has patchy coronal holes turning through, but no sunspot groups and no eruptive behavior. We'll do a long-term solar forecast here in a minute, but first the solar wind. The current sheet of the solar system is indicated in blue, the phi angle, and as the solar wind magnetism shifted, slightly higher density and plasma speed accompanied it. It was not major, but is definitely having a measured effect on the geomagnetic systems the last day. We've got to head to Japan first in the weather. The typhoon is now slated to produce a tremendous impact, whereas three days ago, it was forecast to just skirt the coastline. Now, the majority of the country is forecast to take major storm conditions and flood potential as the system slides right up the line there. Folks, outside of my house right now, it is brutal. The wind has been howling all night. The snow won't make it to Colorado until later today, but it is coming too. We have seen some places break October monthly snow records here in the country just 10 days into the month. Let's go to a solar forecast that is all over the place. They use two different runs of their model and compare them to other published work forecasting the next cycle. As you can see, as I mentioned, it is a bit all over the place, with one of their models saying a slightly weaker cycle is upcoming, one saying slightly stronger. It is time to remember that there is no data more important for solar forecasting than the solar polar magnetic fields. I've got it run back to 2009 here so we can see that the current magnetism over on the right has indeed matched the last cycle in power. This indicates a very similar sunspot cycle is on the way. FYI, we do still forecast grand solar minimum later this century. Our full grand solar minimum forecast is called grand solar minimum, and the link is below. Folks, an interesting statistical paper claims to be able to identify whether a seismic sequence is peaking or if it still has higher magnitudes to go. This is something I'd hope could one day complement the forecasting tools at QuakeWatch.net. If you haven't seen those, I promise you can predict earthquakes too. Interesting study up next suggesting that if Earth was just 5% larger, it would be a molten planet, where the crust wouldn't be solid rock but liquid and uninhabitable. Story also goes into how the solid ones like Earth are so hard to spot in the cosmos. Folks, part of the future economy is likely to be space mining. Here we learn how one electric application will separate the oxygen from base metals in a substance, killing two birds with one stone, and taking the feasibility of exo-resource missions to a new level. Interesting supernova spotted, not behaving like it should. Right in the middle of its light drop after its main burst, it just stopped and stuck there at the same brightness for an entire year. There is nothing in science that should allow that to happen. And let's pair that story with one claiming that we may be able to see the next local supernova gearing up for a boom. Can't help but wonder if those scientists ever thought about how the sun might look before such an event. Let's go next to a supermassive galactic nucleus and its tremendous cosmic jets. They have discovered that the inner material is relatively unperturbed by the jets, allowing for further material agglomeration into the central core, and that the jet instead scales all the way out to the extragalactic gas and plasma, heating it up. Last two stories here. The shame of misguided climate activism is almost too much to bear, and by the way, Greta is not the first use of kids in this war. The IPCC Ocean Report that used the older data is featured in an ESA article here, contributing to the horror injected into the masses on the topic. Folks, in addition to your full climate forcing movie, yesterday we released Climate Forcing Made Easy, a nine-minute shortened and simplified version that I would bet every last one of you can re-deliver to any person with which you discuss these topics. Linked below. Highly recommend it. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. Please watch and share that Climate Forcing Made Easy movie, and don't forget about the Grand Solar Minimum forecast video if you are new here and haven't seen it. We will do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.